Hudson, two sons and I moved to Maine 17 years ago. We arrived in May. We rented an apartment in Union near family and traveled all around, getting used to this new place that we were living in. We became familiar with all the lakes and all the ponds. We found hiking trails and enjoyed all the new playgrounds. We loved being close to the ocean again. It was magical, for real, magical. But then one day, I was driving down the road, two boys in the back, and I saw something my brain could not make sense of. I was driving past the house, and there was someone crouched down in the yard with a dark veil over their face. <laughs> and all I could think of was, alien, <laughs> alien, was that a person? No, it had to be an alien or some really weird person, some strange person, super creepy, crouching person with their face covered like that. I had all kinds of things running through my mind about what was going on there. It's so easy to judge someone when we don't fully understand them. And in the stories that we hear of Jesus, his way was always to welcome. All people, are all genders, all abilities, all backgrounds, people of <coughs> all faith traditions. Jesus accepted people whether they were accepted in their communities or not. In fact, he went out of his way to accept those people who were outcast, those who were looked down upon, those who seemed to have little to offer. In Jesus' actions toward other people, he really seemed to understand them, and he passed his net of welcome widely. If we find ourselves judging people for any number of reasons, because they look differently than we do, they speak differently than we do, they love differently than we do, they eat differently than we do, they vote differently than we do, and on and on it could go. If we're judging, then there's something that we do not yet fully understand about that person. Because if we did, we wouldn't judge them. It is okay to disagree with someone, but when we judge, when we have a critical spirit towards someone, we need to seek understanding. In the Gospel of Mark, a scribe had heard Jesus teaching and was reflecting back to Jesus what he had heard. And he said, You are right, teacher. We are to love God with all our heart and with all our understanding and with all our strength, and we are to love our neighbor as ourselves. Jesus calls us to love God with all that we have, all our heart, all our understanding, all our strength, and then to love others as we love God with all our heart, and all our understanding and all our strength. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> After a bit of time in Maine, I figured out that that person in the yard was not an alien. <laughs> it was May in Maine, and in some areas, like where Patty and I live, there are tiny little bugs that we refer to as black flies, and people wear hats and bug nets to protect themselves. And I am now the creepy, crouchy alien in the yard. And I smile to myself when I happen to notice someone driving by with a confused or critical look on their face, and out of state plates, knowing that at some point they may come to understand. <laughs> So let's be together in prayer, <laughs> welcoming God. Help us to seek understanding when we notice we are judging others. Help us to remember that we are called to love all people with open hearts, with the understanding that all people fall under the umbrella of God's love. Amen. <laughs>